When it comes to creating a door, there's a few things to consider, including the type of door you need, the type of handle, hinge, and motion within the T-slot. The first thing to consider is the type of door. Are you building a sliding door, a bifold, or just a straight panel with a latch? As for a standard door, you'll need to determine the handles, hinges, and the latch. For a sliding or bifold door, you'll choose your handles, rollers or glides, and a latch. Next, we'll look at our options for door handles and hinges. 8020 offers a wide range of handles, locks, and latches for your door or access point, all depending on your specific requirements. For example, if the door will be used often, consider offset handles to prevent finger pinching. If you need to store important items, there are several locking handle options as well. As for hinges, 8020 offers a few different options. Plastic, aluminum, and lift-off hinges. Plastic hinges are used more often for lightweight doors and connecting plastic panels, whereas aluminum hinges are a heavy-duty option. Lift-off hinges are a popular and versatile option. They can create a door that lifts off or a confined door depending on the direction of the hinges you choose. Finally, our options for T-slot motion include glides and rollers. Glides are simple to use and bolt directly to the profile end to freely rotate as a door or application moves. These are often used for bifold doors. Roller wheels mount directly to the T-slot or the profile end making them a great choice for guided linear motion. These are often used to move frames, panels, and other components within the T-slot. Now let's use our panel and door information to take a look at an example of how to design a bifold door, a common project among 8020 customers. For a bifold door, you'll need to determine panels, profiles for the frame and door, hinges, a handle, and of course, door glides. The door glide will bolt into the end of one of the top profiles, which will allow it to freely rotate as the door opens and closes. The first step is to select your profile for the door, which is typically the same as the frame. Then determine the opening width of the door and choose the hinge type you want to use. Next, you'll find the standard gap between profiles when using that hinge. And lastly, choose the total width for each inside door minus the hinge and clearance gaps. Now that we've explored the main considerations to keep in mind when designing a door, are you ready to start designing? We hope you found this segment on doors helpful. For more information, please visit 8020.net. And when you subscribe to our channel, you can expect to see more inspiration for your future projects.